Well, welcome, everybody. For those that don't know me and uh, haven't met me at all yet, and given the current climate, I'm not surprised. My name is Professor Alistair Sloan, and I'm the head of Melbourne Dental School here at the University of Melbourne. Before I start, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which I record this message to you, which is also the land on which our dental school currently sits, as with the university. And that's the land of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. And I pay my respects to their elders past and emerging. So I'd like to welcome you all to our first virtual reunion program for medical and dental alumni. Over the years, many of you have been lucky enough to celebrate your reunions on campus or at other venues around the city. And last year, for the first time, we hosted a large reunion weekend program here on campus. Now, I hadn't been expecting to share this message with you online this year. I had hoped to meet many of you for the first time at this year's reunion weekend as I've done in the past when I've been a, been a head of school previously in another country, in another dental school. But unfortunately our meeting in person has been delayed, but I thought this would still be a good chance for me to introduce myself to you and say hello. Now you may know that I joined the University of Melbourne at the start of this year. I arrived in Melbourne in the middle of January with my family, all the way from Cardiff University in Cardiff in the United Kingdom. And I, at Cardiff, I'd been there for some 15 years as an academic, and the last three years of that time, I was the head of school. My background really is in oral biology and pathology from my PhD days, which I obtained from the University of Birmingham in the UK. And my background is on tissue engineering, mineralized tissue biology, and targeted drug delivery. And my ambitions here in Melbourne, and my ambitions that were ignited really when I visited last year, it helped to elevate this hugely positive reputation that we have here at Melbourne Dental School by increasing more the impact of our research, our international and national reach, and actually transform the delivery of our dental and oral health education programs. And to that end, I have announced that over the next 12 months, we'll be undertaking a curriculum review. And I will be reaching out to all of you for your thoughts and opinions on what a dental program and an oral health program should be, and what you think we need from a graduate from Melbourne Dental School. Now, I don't need to tell you that this has been a very difficult year, and boy, do I know what that's like. And for many of you who've had to close or modify your practices to suit the new environment that we're working in, and working very much at the front line of the COVID-19 pandemic, it's a year that has no doubt been filled with challenges and problems and all sorts of things that you've had to think about for the very first time. There's lots of highs as well as lots of lows. But I've got to say I'm extremely proud of the tireless work that you've been doing this year to keep our communities safe and our patients seen who've got urgent and immediate care in the recent stage four lockdown and also dealing with this backlog of patients that require dental and oral health treatments. So thank you very much for the work that you do. This year though has shone a light on oral health and health in general like never before and the leadership and adaptability of our alumni and our student community has made me very proud to lead this school. I see some huge personal attributes from staff, from clinical demonstrators, from alumni, and especially from our students over the past eight and nine months. While I hope that we can get back to gathering in person next year, for now we wanted to help you mark the year with a program of digital events that will help you explore our campus, relive your student days, and reconnect with one another from all corners of the world. Reunite Online will start on Thursday the 12th of November with a program of digital events and online content from across the school, the faculty and the university. You'll be able to browse the latest exhi exhibition titled Dentistry, Innovation Education and visit the Henry Foreman Atkinson Dental History Museum's online collection or tour one of the many beautiful campuses at your leisure across the weekend. On the evening of Friday the 13th of November, I'm really excited to announce there'll be a special concert that we have produced specially for our alumni celebrating a reunion milestone in 2020. In collaboration with Corpus Medicorum, Melbourne's premier orchestra of doctors, dentists, students and health professionals, we have designed a program of music to showcase these talented people, many of whom are alumni of the University of Melbourne and some are alumni of the dental school. And as a professional musician myself, prior to arriving in Melbourne, I find this really exciting and a fantastic uh, opportunity for you to see some great music. The concert will feature the violin soloist Markian Milichenko, and we are delighted to invite you to experience a fabulous night of beautiful music to celebrate this milestone year since your graduation. Following the concert, you can join me and Dr. Malcolm Grenes, one of our very own dental alums, who is one of the double bass players in Corpus Medicorus. 
and it will be joining us from Hobart for a discussion about all things music and dentistry, both things very passionate to me and very close to my heart. So please make sure you register for these events so you can receive a login and logging details. At lunchtime on Friday the 13th of November, we'll also be joined by one of Melbourne Medical School's most inspiring alums, Professor Tom Oxley. Tom did his PhD in neuroscience here at the university and is now a world expert in brain computer interfaces. Tom will be appearing live in conversation from New York, where you can hear about his incredible innovations and breakthroughs. Now, finally, I want to draw your attention to new digital memory boards on the website. I hope you enjoy browsing the boards and reading the posts from your classmates. I encourage you to add your own photos, your own posts, your own stories and anecdotes. And I'm sure your cohort will enjoy seeing some familiar faces and reliving your time at university. Having been to a number of these when I was head of school at Cardiff University, I think they're a fantastic way of reconnecting and maintaining those friendships you've had for a number of years. It's something I enjoy engaging with, and it's a shame we can't do this in person this year. But I very much hope you enjoy Reunite Online this year. And I hope to see you online in the next few weeks. And I hope to meet with you all soon in the not too distant future. Thank you. <laughs>